You're watching 13 on your side. You know, Kirk, as a health reporter, I get to see some pretty interesting things. Absolutely. I found one that I really want to show to you. All right, this is the look of inside of a heart attack. Th this? This is right here. These are crystals of cholesterol. They're actual shards, and they are really, really sharp. This is, is this in our like our this arteries? Is in our, our arteries. Okay. This is what's happening when wow. you're inside of a heart attack. Wow. Those shards develop inside the cholesterol. They're called cholesterol crystals. And here's what they do to your arteries. They create these striations. Oh my gosh. I know, it's very frightening. And these striations then lead to scarring of the arteries. And that is really the unique part that happens when you're having this heart attack. Now they were discovered by Michigan State University professor, Dr. George Abla about 10 years ago, but his research did not stop there, and I recently caught up to, with him to find out what he has found now to advance this research. Inside his lab at Michigan State University, Dr. George Abela discovered how a slight drop in your body temperature can cause cholesterol in your blood to turn to ice crystals that damage arteries. This is a membrane, and this is how they perforate right through as they grow. And they are sharp enough to tear through blood vessels. Like the top of a needle. It's exactly like that. Once the damage is done, tiny clots form on top of the tears. And that is where the next step of Dr. Avila's research picks up. If our systems break down, the bacteria may get out of control and will invade. Dr. Avila proved his theory that bacteria in our blood can attach to clots caused by the tears from the crystals causing infection in the heart valve. But we know that patients who have infections like pneumonia, sepsis, will often develop a heart attack after the infection. And this could be an explanation for these events. And with his latest research published, Dr. Avila moves on to his next question. What medications might help stop the infection from happening? I'd love to see how we can solve a problem. For me, it's a challenge, and I think about it. I wake up at night and I write notes. Um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's something that drives me. I love how passionate he is about this work. It's fascinating. And we've, we've always learned, known about, you know, diet and exercise, but your body temperature Right. That's wild. Making these these crystals yeah. and I mean it really gives you an inside look at what's happening and now he's taking that to the next level. He's looking at whether or not aspirin can actually mm. dissolve those crystals right. so that you don't have the formation and therefore also don't really even have the infection possibility as well. And you've known this doctor for a long time. I have. Yeah, I've been working with him for about 10 years. I really love his research. He's so passionate about it as you saw and um, what's great is the fact that he's advancing this mm. research even more and it's happening right here in Michigan. Wow. Great advice as always, Val.